Leading Little Ones to God by Marian M. Schooland. Illustrations by Paul Stubb. Part 1, Lesson 5. God talks to us. We talk to God when we pray to Him. We close our eyes, we think about God, and then we talk to Him. And we know that He hears us because He is all around us. But does God talk to us? Can we hear him? Long ago, he talked to little Samuel. He talked to many others. But does he talk to you and to me? Yes, he does talk to us. He talks to us in several ways. He talks to us through his book, most of all. When God talked to men long ago, he told them to write down his words. He told them to write his words in a book. They made a big book. And we call this book the Bible. The Bible is God's Word. God took care of the Bible. Though it was written many, many years ago, we can read it today. He took care of it because he wanted to talk to you and me through the Bible. When we read the Bible, God is talking to us. When the minister reads the Bible to us, God is talking to us. When your mom and dad read the Bible to us, God is talking to us. When our teachers read the Bible to us and tell us Bible stories, God is talking to us. There are many, many books in the world. The Bible is the most wonderful of them all. The Bible, the whole Bible, is God talking to us. We love the Bible because it's God's Word. We take care of our Bibles. We read our Bibles often because we want to know what God says to us. God talked to us in a very special way when he sent Jesus, his son, to live on the earth. Many of the things that Jesus said are also in the Bible. And God talks to us when his spirit whispers in our hearts. Sometimes the spirit whispers to tell us not to be naughty. Sometimes the spirit whispers when we're praying to tell us, that God hears us. Even though we do not hear the voice of God with our ears as Samuel did, God does talk to us and he talks to us in many ways. Something to talk about. In what book does God talk to us? Who wrote this book? Why is the Bible the most wonderful of all the books? 1 Peter 1, 24 and 25 For all men are like grass, and their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. If you enjoyed this devotional and would like to hear more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.